Happy Halloween, everybody, and welcome to the finale of Earthbound Halloween. I'm fighting the phase distorter for what seems like the 50,000th time, but this time, I know what I'm doing. For reasons I will explain briefly. Hang on, let me just see. What am I doing here? I think I'm gonna get Varric to just punch while I get Paula to throw on a shield. There we are. And Jeff, I figured out, can use the HP sucker with no consequence. Huzzah! So, between episodes, I actually, I think I mentioned this earlier, I was getting sick in a previous episode. I did get sick, so I took a couple days off from this game. And in the meantime, I was grinding my tiny little tukus off, so I got a bunch of levels. But not on this file. So what I did is I practiced the boss, I figured out a strategy that worked, and then I went to the next part. I didn't read any text, don't worry. And then I grinded so many levels. So I should not have to pause for very long. I didn't pay attention to what that was. Oh no, her shield disappeared. Okay, I gotta put that back on. So let's, I guess, bash again. Spell. Throw your shield back on, Paula. Oh, right, no. HP. HP, sucker! Suck my HP. So yeah, I've been pausing a lot to grind in this playthrough. It's been incredibly punishing. But this time, I'm prepared. And the pause will be brief. Because I've already done all the grinding off screen while I was recovering from my cold. Isn't that great? The power shield deflected the attack. Ah. But I'm fine. You can't hurt me. Much. Uh oh. Okay. I forgot the shield doesn't help much against that one. Even though I wish it would. I need to eat a pizza. I will eat a cocoon pizza to heal everybody. Uh, Paula, can you do anything? No, you cannot. How about you just eat a... Pisai caramel. A caramel, if you will. While Jeff continues to HP suck. Ah, uh, we shared a pizza together in the middle of a horrible fight with a terrible-looking monster. Is that teeth? Are those little black things teeth? I never paid much attention to them before. And 82 HP. Excellent. Grabbed you and tried to shove your whole body in its gaping maw. Ah. <sighs> Alright, um... Yeah, let's get Varric to throw a PSI caramel to Paula. Whilst she uses, I guess, freeze. And you can continue to HP suck. I said I had the strategy all figured out, but this was like two, three days ago, so <laughs> I sort of forgot some of it. I just know I used HP sucker a lot and freeze and shield. <laughs> Why is Jeff healing? Oh, because he HP sucker drains HP. Right. Duh. I'm dumb. All right, let's, I guess, just smack him. Wait, no, wait, mm -hmm. Yeah, just freeze him again, screw it. I'll try and brute force my way through. If I fail, I'll just try again, <laughs> like I have many times. Come on, RNG, be on my side. Drained HP, not much HP, but some. The power shield deflected it, okay. Don't do anything crazy. Uh-oh. Bounce off. Oh yeah. Paula's shield disappeared again. Well, you know what, Paula? Let's just power through. Let's power through. Spells. Freeze. H HP sucker. Come on. I hope you die this turn. Yay, crumbled into pieces. I did it. There you go. If you ever got stuck there and you wanted a strategy, just do that. Start with a shield. Use freeze. Keep Paula's MP up. Maybe don't get as cocky as I did. And use HP sucker from Jeff. Maybe limit how many physical attacks he did. I got a bit cocky with that. If I ever hit a critical hit, it would have been very bad for me. After they stepped into the machine, they never came back. Hours later, Gigas' henchmen stopped showing up. Gigas was dead. But where were they? Why didn't they come back? To my horror, I realized that the method I used to send them to the past 
would not work in order to send them to the future. Years ago, they were already stranded in the past. Years ago, they already died. I killed them. I killed my only son. I killed my son's friends. There's not enough Zindlala left for another time machine. And I had never done anything right in my entire life. I spent all my time preoccupied with stupid projects like Dungeon Man. I tried to turn boiled eggs back into raw eggs. I remember that. I even created an instant revitalizing device. It sounds like it could be useful, but it costs too much to be mass produced. I have an utterly impe impenetrable? Impenetrable? I think that's supposed to be impenetrable. Anyway, capsule, but you can never get out of it. I've only created useless things. Actually, if you remember at the end of episode one of this that I recorded, I managed to penetrate that capsule with a knife. And I killed whatever was inside. So there's that. Things that crash and burn. If you ask me to follow your dreams, you'll die. And if you don't die, you'll die anyway. You'll get caught in some palm trees. What? What's the point of living in a palm tree? In a world like that, I mean. After I realized that I had slain them, I became overcome with grief. I created an army of monsters and set them loose. Anything interesting or important in this world, I've already unceremoniously destroyed it. Now I wait here, hiding in the Sea of Eve. I'm becoming warped. Every moment I wait here, Magic Ant pulls me in. Look around. What is this? I don't remember this. It's... I'm scared. This is the uh, place where you fight Gigas in the first game, I'm pretty sure. I'm scared of it. Help me. I need courage. I need... I need to hear these words. Listen! I am courage. When we defeated Gigas, the future split in twain. Shania Twain! In one future, Gigas has always been defeated. I forgot this gets so loud. Before we defeated him in the past. In the other future, Gigas' defeat is new. Gigas' technology allowed him to invade every time and space simultaneously. This includes even the ones he was already defeated. La, 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 la. Hurry up, I need to get this out of my ears. When we destroyed Gigas, our souls sought out our bodies. But we returned to the new future we had created. Not the old one we were sent from. Dr. Andonuts waited forever for us to return, but it's impossible. The world's supply is exhausted. We're alive, but does it really matter in this universe? All we can do now is stop this old man from going insane. Farrakh, now! To the Sea of Eve! Shield thine eyes! This is a really slow transition! Oh my god, thank you. My ears can now rest in peace. <laughs> bah, excuse me. And here is where I spent a bunch of time grinding. But now I haven't grinded in this file, so... You've befallen the anxiety attack. Hmm. Hmm. Can I flee? Probably can't. But couldn't. Oh me, oh my. It did not work on Varric. 9 HP of damage to Jeff. Well, fine, you know what? Let's just... Let's just... Oh shit, I should have probably went to... To heal. But I didn't. We've got poo now. <laughs> I got a poo. I'm gonna freeze. Anxiety attack misses you very much. Jeff could not stop crying. Alright. Disrupted my senses. It did not work. Suck that HP, baby. Only eight. Ugh. And they dodged. Come on. 62. Die, please. Could not stop crying. Body became numb. Awesome. Anxiety attack spit out pumpkin seeds. 2 HP of damage. Eh. Take that. Anxiety attack withered and sank into its own shadow. Nice crit for 18 damage. Good job, Pooh. Alright, they're dead. Now I should probably go and rest. I should also heal. I mean, save. <laughs> Teddy bear. Varric took it. Alright, let's head back to the inn, and... That was weird. Do some saving! Yep, fucking go around... Uh, uh, the controller input lag still is exists, I see. Get out of my way! Jesus, so rude. It's like I'm at Walmart, just trying to cross the aisle, and somebody steps right in front of you just as you go to cross. 
So then you go to step around them, and then they conveniently need something just in front of there now. Fucking assholes. Hello, sir. Please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. You'll dream of dreams and dream of dream, 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 dream. Dream, 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 dream. These dreams. Alright. Let's now go save and head back to the Sea of Eve. Oh, now there's a dog in my way. Lovely. And what do you want, desire dog? Ugh. Pseudopods. That does not sound very sexy. Sneezed mucousy tentacles. How do you sneeze tentacles? That's just nasty. You're nasty. Don't dodge. Take the hit like a man. Like the man that you're not. He collapsed into tentacles. I guess I figured out what that dog's thing is. It's being a dog. With tentacles. Another one. Bites the dust. Bow, bow, bow. I'm just gonna go loser mode. Loser mode engage! If you're wondering, I figured this out while I was grinding, thankfully. That's just auto mode. <laughs> it took me this long to figure that out. One other thing I'll point out is that for this episode, I've also cracked out a walkthrough to make sure that I don't get stuck for terribly long. Or do anything stupid. This has been very unforgiving so far, like I said. I expect the ending to be just as unforgiving, if not worse. And I want to be prepared as much as possible. What's in the box? Sword of Kings. Varric takes it. That's not for you, Varric. That is for... Mr. Pooh Man. The Pooh Man group. Aw, oh, yeah. He can't wear much, but he can wear that. Stay away from me, doggo. I don't want what you're selling, and what you're selling is more tentacles. Some hair gel. I can look fantastic and beautiful. There we are. One defense bonus. Yay! Lovely. Is that his ultimate armor? Some hair gel? Oh shit, okay, good. Oh, and I only got the one. Sweet. You've befallen the anxiety attack. Ugh, I hate befalling an anxiety attack. Ugh. Anybody else relate to that? <laughs> Random panic attacks that have nothing to do with anything? Poo attacks. <laughs> That's a funny sentence. Poo dealt some critical damage to the anxiety attack. He's a strange sentence you'll only see in this game. You won! 26 HP. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Sneak up on you. Sneak up on you. This is not sneaking up very well. But whatever. So many anxiety attacks. Don't blow me a kiss. Take that. Ugh. Ah! There you go. <laughs> and dead. Sweet. You won. I sure did. Take that, anxiety. You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna quickly, um... Heal. Jeff. Okay. I will now fight you, weird pumpkin-headed kid. Oh, it's a ghost kin. Alright, well. Time to sit back, relax, and uh, just, you know, chill. How are you guys doing? Are you enjoying this playthrough so far? Well, that's good, because you're watching part three, so... I hope you are. Otherwise, that's been, like, over two hours of content that you don't enjoy. Why are you watching it? Who attacked? The ghost can dodge, though. How do you have pumpkin? Oh, no. Oh, it's the teddy bear. Who cares about the teddy bear? He became a pile of fluff. Well... Just die. Return to the dust of the earth. Excellent. Varric and his friends gain 10 XP. And here's another box. No, 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 do no, Stay away from me, doggo. I want to put the cloak on first. Ah, just barely. I need to hand it over to Pooh. Varric gave the cloak of kings to Pooh. And Pooh will now throw it on. That's some high defense now. 
Now we fight the doggo. Everybody's just kind of like stone faced staring at it like, ugh, another one of these. Ugh. <laughs> Follow attacked. It dealt 29 HP of damage. Jeff attacked with 32. Way to one up Paula, Jeff. And then there's Varric. With like a really powerful sword. Varric and his friends gained 25 XP. There was a tin of cacao. Do you like cacao? I surely like cacao. Alright, I think we're approaching the next area, which is where I will reload my file. Where I did all my grinding. Look, I'm just gonna skip this fight. There, like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing. I got another teddy bear, by the way, as you can see in the back. It's like, oh god. Why is my existence walking around with this group of ragtag children? Well, sucks to be teddy bear, but hate to break it to you. That's the life of most teddy bears, hanging out with children. Or adults in some cases. Anyway, don't need to watch another fight with anxiety. All right, that's done. And we're almost at the weird tentacle thing in the Sea of Eve. As you approach the lone tentacle, your heart starts to beat again. That last time that happened, shit went pretty friggin' awry. That feeling of the monster is starting to come back slowly. You can almost smell him again. This tentacle can't do anything. Okay, thanks. But your legs propel you forward. Oh, that was a weird sound effect. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot this place is weird. You there. Stay away from me. I just want the, the present. He touched me. <laughs> the trans dimension terminant picked itself up to fight you. Well, I'm gonna become a loser and auto attack you to death. Jeff attacks. That's clearly a habit that I picked up from all my friggin' murderous intent. Like, I, I can't even tell you how many things I killed between episodes. I'll have to show you. And there goes Paula, but who cares? I just need to get to the save point. This isn't even the file I'm going to continue on. I just want to show the audience what this section is like before I go to my super powerful team. God damn it, guys. Stop dropping like flies. <laughs> and Jeff is dead. Varric attacks. Are we done here? He was blown to smithereens. Excellent. <laughs> Very can poop. Whose level is now nine? See, you wouldn't have got all that experience if the other two survived. There is a bonus. Eh. Varric opened the present. There is a Franklin badge. Who took it? Or did I take a poo? Let's do a cleanse. On. Uh, I guess Paula. Paula's revived. It's one out of two. What are you now? You were trapped at the end of the alley by a Geeg League. Alright, fine. I'm gonna do this a little smarter. I will freeze you. Eh. Eh. Freeze, please. Damn it, he didn't freeze. Then I hope he dies, because he's got a very strong attack. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was the teddy bear. I'm fine. That's not even his worst attack. Wait till you see what this guy can use. Varric attacks a crit. Bent over, clutched his stomach, and crumpled into a wad of papier. Of papier. Papier mâché. 208 XP. Inside the present, there was a cocoon pizza. I took the cocoon pizza, and who is now level 10? Excellent. None of this matters. Lightning B and life up Omega and cleanse. Uh, I forget what that one's called. Don't touch me. Shit! <laughs> he touched me. Please don't cast anything crazy. Oh, this music, though. Please stop. Okay, it didn't work. Excellent. 
Loser mode engage. Fast forward mode engage. <laughs> I forgot I could do this. The audio probably sounds awful, though. <laughs> God, my ears. This is terrible on the ears. Just die. Stop trying to kill me. Are we done here? We're done. All right, cool. You won! Varric and his friends gained 164 XP. All right. The teddy bear took a poo. Or the poo took a teddy bear. One of those is true. In this box we have a planet buster. Poo took it, but it's for Varric. You know what? Just eat the cocoa. You go, Glen Coco. Give the planet buster to Varric. Now, what is it, you might ask? Well, let me show you. Varric can equip this weapon, the most powerful weapon in existence. A sword so strong. It has the power to destroy planets, galaxies, universes can be felled with a single blow from such a weapon. Just holding it causes your hands to tingle. It gives you an incredible surge of power when used in battle. Now, surely, you're thinking to yourself, a sword like that is severely OP and will destroy everything. It gives me two more offense than the previous sword. Yeah. <laughs> I have no words. That description belies the power that comes with it. Especially since the things in here will still continue to kick my ass. Oh no, another one of those. Uh, why? Maybe I can despawn a few if I go down. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh, well, you might be alright. Alright, let's fight this friggin' tin can of crap. Uh, fine, I'll be, I'll be careful. Freeze. What does Pooh have? I think Pooh needs to heal up Varric, is what he needs to do. Freeze B! 95 HP of damage. Don't white shock me. Apparently the teddy bear did not care about your white shock. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Is it dead? Damn it! Hit poo. Damn it. Oh, the teddy bear. Well, it still sucks. You should hit poo with a Franklin badge. It would have bounced right off him. Anyway, he was blown to smithereens. And I won. Got some XP out of it. What's in that box up there, you might ask? Let's find out. It is a neutralizer. Okay, give that to Jeff. That actually is for him, so perfect. It's an item that he can use to... It dispels every buff and debuff on both the enemies and us. I foresee that becoming handy in the future, especially if it's given to us now. Don't rip out my innards, please. I need those. I like my innards to remain in me. Don't rip them out. That did nothing. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna bash you. Bash you. Don't have enough for life up. Shit. I could use Magnet. Don't brain shock me. It didn't work, right? Awesome. Nobody was affected by your stupid friggin' brain shock. <laughs> Drained his pee, pee Now I can heal. And spells. Life up on Varric. It did not work on the teddy bear! Huzzah! Need to kill this thing. Loser mode! Speed up mode! Eh, eh, eh! Edged closer. Please don't do that. Just die. It's dead. I won! Prada! Paula's level 14. Well. Paula's much higher. In a brief period of time. Ah, shit! 
You were trapped at the end of the alley by a Geek League. Don't. 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 He's doing it. He's got PSI rocking. And he's using it. Oh no. I don't want to die this close to the end. Oh, he even hit the teddy bear. What an asshole. Uh, shit, I don't have much. I just gotta hope that he dies before I do. <laughs> I feel like there's a good chance that he won't die before he kills me. Especially if he does shit like that. Please dodge. Didn't dodge. Oh, that was the teddy bear. Okay, good. I'll just go loser mode. I can't do anything special anyway. Poo attacked. Varric attacks. Come on. Use your planet buster to kill this thing. Do your 50 damage, which I'm pretty sure was the same amount of damage you did before. Come on. Yes, he's dead. Excellent. We're almost there. We're almost to the point of where I got between episodes. Who is level 11? Thank God for that. All right. Scared us. Open the chest and nothing. Varric opened the present. There's a brain food lunch. I might as well grab that. Just in case. If you're wondering, the level is supposed to be glitchy like that. Eh. Because it looks, uh... It looks like that all the time. Here we are, guys. This is it. Everybody's a friggin' robot now. Just like at the end of Earthbound. And this is the place where I can save. And this is where I spent many, many hours grinding. Do you want to record your journey before it ends? Yes. Your game is saved. Continue. Well, you're not the boss of me, and I'm gonna reset. And go to my other file. One moment. Alright, we're back. And I'm on my super-powered people, which is why these enemies are actually actively running away from me. <laughs> so, I looked it up before I started my grind session, and I was like, around what level should I be? Because right now I'm around 13 or 14. I was at the time. And then I thought to myself, uh, well, this guide recommends level 20 or higher, so I'm going to do you one better. I am level... 30 or 31 on each character right now. <laughs> look at the difference right now. Just look at this. I destroyed that thing. Now that's not to say this is going to be a walk in the park. I still expect the final bosses. I'm expecting there to be more than one. I have not I have the walkthrough open for when I get stuck, but I haven't looked at it yet. But I expect the bosses to be horribly painful. No, I don't need to throw anything away. Yeah, just leave it behind. I've got a bajillion cocoon pizzas. I've killed so many of you. Alright. Ugh! Damn it! Now there's one of each. Alright. That's done. Touch the butterfly! Wait, should I heal first? You're my butterfly. Sugar, baby. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Heal everybody, poo. And now touch the butterfly. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly. Sugar, baby. Another one. So you might have noticed I'm cutting out a lot of these battles. Mostly because I just want to get through the rest of the game in one episode. And I don't want to have too many of these trash battles. I'll show them at least once so you know what they look like. But beyond that, I'm going to skip them. Like so... And that's done. Moving on. And dodging those. Oh god, there's more. Why is there always more? Oh, I sneak attacked him. Sweet. Well, now you die. Here's a chance for a surprise attack. But I'm a loser. And I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> Alright, dead. Now. A giant ball. I've never gone in. That's right, I spent many hours in that one area. So what's in here? A butterfly. Do I need it? Nah. Even if I don't, touch it anyway. Why not? What's the worst that happens? 
It becomes navvy and interrupts every uh, interrupts me every two seconds to tell me useless shit. Another ball. Okay. Is this gonna be the thing? Similar landscapes and then touching a ball. Two of you. Oh, I'm so scared. Just got to me being dead. <laughs> <laughs> and dead. I have a confession, guys. So, I completely... I've gotten so comfortable with this playthrough that I paused the episode, and then I put the battle on auto, got up, walked away, went to the kitchen, got myself a can of sparkling water, came back and sat down just as the things died, and I unpaused the episode. <laughs> oh, lordy. Anyways. Oh, this is new. I recognize it from the original Earthbound, but... Oh, the music is so creepy. Toby, you've done a really good job with the soundtrack in here, at least. Some of it is just remixes of Earthbound songs already, but I'm pretty sure there's some original stuff, too. Ow, my ears! That note! Too high! I feel like a dog! Ugh. Okay, dead end. Are there no monsters down here? That's nice. Because it could be very... Uh oh Oh, shit! No! Okay, well... Oh, that was a danger... <laughs> dangerous battle icon. But not so dangerous soundtrack. All right, let's see. Does that say I'm old? Where is your face? Because I see one on what looks like it should be the head. I see another face on your chest, and then I see another face even below that. Like, anyway. Enough staring at this weird creature. I'm gonna try freezing it, maybe. I hope there's a place to rest. Because freeze takes a lot of MP. 140 damage. Sweet. Oh shit, he's got PSI rocking. Oh god. Oh, this thing hurts. Okay, good. Jeff doesn't have much HP, but it looks like he's got the defense to back it up. Kill it with your planet-destroying sword, Varric. Oh, I shouldn't get cocky. But I'm just gonna bash. I hope to god it dies. Before it can do PSI rocking again. Ugh. Oh, it was defeated. Alright, cool. I probably should heal, though. Alright, poo. Take a poo on my face. And by that I mean heal. Heal us all. Maxed out, maxed out, maxed out, maxed out. I hope there are not any more of those. Oh look, it's the weird creepy dead lady. We're having leftovers for dinner tonight. Oh wait, didn't need to tell you that. Giggle kiss. Gotta love a good giggle kiss. Where are we going now? Uh Hello? What is this place? This looks like a... Um... Ah, oh, jeez, what are they called? From the original game, it was like a... A flash where you get... Anyway. Varric, come back! This monster stuff is absurd. It's even okay if you barf on the customers. What? It's definitely not okay. Uh, the bosses. The bosses in Earthbound 1 looked like this before you engage them. Bus stop. Okay, well... Hello there, sir. Varric, I want you to know that I'm very proud of you. You're a true hero. Go get that monster. Is this the end of the game? Like, Is this the, the cheerful hurrah before the end? Oh, there's a phone. Nothing. No, talk to the chick. Hey, cutie. Varric, I hope you remember me. Wouldn't it be nice to go on a date sometime? Wouldn't it be nice if we were dating? Come back to us. We all miss you. Use the portal in the middle of town. What? Oh. Yeah, I suppose I could interact with it. Shush, don't talk too loud. What do you want to buy? Uh, what have you got? Horn of Life. I'm going to take a minute and look at that walkthrough and see what I need for the upcoming battles. Uno momento. There, and done. Done my shopping. Fun fact, apparently I have over $70,000. I think I might be a little rich. Hi, this is the game saving hotline. Yes, I would love to save. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You're a very kind person. Goodbye. What's in the woods? Is it death? Is it despair? This is the last.
As you step between those two trees, the world melts away with you. You're used to this by now, but this time is different. As you make the step, you hit the ground hard. The world is beating purple and red around you. The ground is made of vile intestines. You're inside the monster. Your heart is burning, but it does not seem to be beating anymore. It's on fire. I would expect it not to be beating. Your body is made of metal rubber. What? Your eyes are black holes. That's not possible. Your arms move robotically. Heavy. Your legs are pulled forward as if by magnets. But they're still so heavy. You're in a dark vacuum. I've got a dark vacuum for you. There's no air and no heat. I've got plenty of air and heat coming out of me. There is nothing except pulsating violet. You are inside the monster. The monster. You are the monster. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Oh, oh my god, it's NES freaking... <laughs> if you're not familiar, these are the sprites from the original mother game, Earthbound Zero, as you may know it, on the NES. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, let's just casually make our way up through these weird intestine brain tentacle thingies. God, we're walking slow. If only we were 16-bit, we might walk a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, good lord. So, excuse me, I have not read that walkthrough I keep mentioning too, too much yet. But I did see that it wants me to... Equip everybody with a fire pendant, so I've done that. So let's see if it helps. Hello there, weird eyeball. It's an anus expanding. Oh, no, it's an eyeball. Never mind. I thought it was an eye, then I thought it was an ass, and now I think it's an eye again. Well, hello there, whatever the hell you are. Varric, are you surprised? It's me, Dr. Andonuts. Look at what this world has done to me. Look at me! Ha 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 ha! Do you see this? You idiots! Look at your decaying, frost-bitten buddies. Varric, do you really think you're a hero? You're not a hero! You kill people for money! Where's the heroism in that? I think it's pretty heroic. You went into an old man's mind so you could kill him! Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave Brittany alone. But you won't, Varric. You're going to kill me. Because that's what a hero does. He has to kill that monster, right? Varric, even in this form, I am shaking with fear. I don't want to die. Leave me alone. Go away and leave me alone. Put. Put the knife away. You and your puny bodies. Stay back. You are making this old, this old horrible monster cry. You're making me cry. Meh. You hoit my feel. Oh my god, what are you? I am scared. How many eyes do you need? Um, alright, well. I'm gonna take a brief minute to look at this walkthrough of mine. Alright, the answer is simple. Bash it to death. It also recommended that I put up a shield before the fight ends, so let me just go ahead and do that now. Psycho Piss Spirit. Shoot and shoot. 100 HP of damage to the id. Okay. Odd name. Everyone's protected by psychic shields. Which is not important for this fight, but apparently the next one. I mean, spoilers, there's another phase. Ooh. Who would have guessed... Varric, I have done nothing to you. Leave me alone. Please. Please leave me be. I choose not to. I'm gonna keep punching you in the face. And who's gonna punch you in the face really hard? Jeff's gonna shoot you with a gun. And Varric's gonna slash you with the planet destroying sword. Look at my giant ugly body. Isn't this punishment enough? Why? Why do you have to hunt me down? Please just go away. Well, I kind of agree with you that there with that being punishment enough, but I'm gonna kill you anyway, because that's just what I do. Varric, I know that even if you didn't attack me, you would break down eventually. Your eyes. His eyes. 
They are so full of bloodlust. When you look at me, I want to scream. Why did you say his eyes? Do I, Is he talking about Ness? Do I have parts of Ness in me? I've always got the impression maybe there's some kind of weird crossover happening between Varric and Ness, but anyway. <laughs> I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. You've done a good job. You've slain the monster. I can feel the blood from my brain leaking into the rest of my body. It's warm. It's making me sad. I'm sorry I wasn't much of a fight, Varric. Well, I... Uh, uh. And now it's a nothing. What is this feeling deep inside of me? I know what this feeling is. It's hatred for the person who came so far just to destroy an old man. My mind is gone. All that is left is pure hatred. Gh. My- No! People say I can't take what I dish out. I... Um... Alright. Hello there, Dr. Andonuts. Oh, he's dodging all the attacks. Alright. Walkthrough break again. Alright, the walkthrough I read had kind of a lot of info, and I'm not entirely sure I followed, because this guy seems interesting, so let's just get right into it, see what happens. Probably gonna die once or twice, it's fine. Let's just give it a shot. Alright, first of all, I need to make sure I keep my shield up, so that's already done. I guess I'll just bash, save my peepee, -pee, because sounds like I'll need it for other things. Does HP Sucker do anything on this guy? Let's try that. And bash. You see this burning bloody universe. You see this ultimate unlimited power. Varric. I have fucking had it with your shit. You little fuckers are going to have your bodies ripped in half. I'll shove your asses so far down your throats that when you crap, you'll sing fucking Beethoven. TLDR, eat shit faggots. Wow. As a gay man, I am mildly offended by your tone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I understand, Toby, why you said you felt a bit of cringe for the writing in this game. I understand, but I forgive you. You're still a good guy, and you've gone on to make some amazing things. And you were a teenager when you made this, so you know, who cares? Please don't kick me in the face. No, Paul is fine. My God, this song is loud, turning down my volume. Varric, 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 you get the idea. Are you done? Oof. You, you're. But your attacks are meaningless here. I am the master of this dimension. Varric, I'm gonna burn you to such a crisp your ashes will scream for water. Water. Oh, no, he's using fire, but I've got the fire pendants on, so I'm good. Keep bashing. Who attacked Dr. Andonuts? Well, excuse me. The sparkling water is coming back up. Probably not the best choice of beverage when recording, but it's fine. Dr. Andonuts screamed and began to emanate an incredible amount of flame. And it didn't hurt much. Call attacks. Why is the music getting slower? It's not lagging. Alright. Hang on a second. I just realized what song is playing. Isn't this Megalomania? <laughs> I didn't even process that I was listening to Megalovania. So, so Toby made this song for this hack originally? It wasn't an original of Undertale. That's pretty cool, I didn't realize that. Well, holy shit, I love this song. For some reason, because I've heard it so much before, like I just figured it was a normal song to hear for a boss fight in Earthbound. I completely disconnected that it was not Earthbound. Anyway. Moving on to killing. This song is friggin' amazing. Good job, Toby. Despite the writing, you did a good job with this mod. <laughs> ah, you fags. <laughs> there you go. There's the writing. If fire didn't extinguish you, I will subject you to the terrors of absolute zero. Enjoy the freezing temperature of space, Varric. Which means I now need to equip my H2O pendants. Um... 
da, 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 da. There we go. H2O pendant. H2O pendant. And H2O pendant. There we go. They're ready for you, Dr. Andonuts. Bring it on. Freeze. Please bounce off. Huzzah! His body solidified. I feel like I'm actually doing a very good job kicking his ass so far. I probably overleveled just a smidgen. Just a tad. Just, just a touch. Liquefied the air. Seven damage. <laughs> I definitely overdid it with my grinding. <laughs> oh well. It hurts. It hurts. Ah! I, Varric, you are going to die here. Your puny psychic abilities are nothing compared to mine. You're going to suffer the greatest psychic attack. Prepare to have your minds. Beg for mercy. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, at this point I need to make sure I've got a shield on, but... I haven't seen it fall off, so... I should be fine. Why am I missing? There you go. Keep attacking. Yeah, you keep drawing in that energy. Stop dodging me! You're an old man and you're charging a power. Why are you so agile? Just do the power. Eat this shit for breakfast. <laughs> Watch this. PSI bitch kill Omega. <laughs> oh my god. Varric. That was rude, Varric. Friends. No. Why can't I? You. I'm done fooling around. I'm just going to kill you. No mercy. Okay, well. You can try all you want. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of kicking your ass first. Just gonna keep hitting Bash. I was so worried this boss fight would be really difficult, but I think I overdid it with my preparating. Preparating? That's not even a word! Preparation H. I think we're done. Well then. Varric. You see how pathetic I am. Even when I'm in my own mind. Even when I'm fighting for my life. I guess. I guess I'm better off dead. You remind me a lot of my son's friend. Ha ha ha! I'm... I'm gonna go now. I feel really exhausted and I need a nap. So, Varric, if we ever meet again, you're going to get the... Paddle! Shit. Were you gonna say shit kicked out of me? The U1 is a bit askew there. No experience. Oh, well, fine. My eyes! Oh. When you opened the door, Dr. Endonuts was staring upward, eyes empty. Oh, so he's the one that you kill in the, the fake ending. He's dead. Not really feeling that much about it. You feel a little like this situation could have been avoided. <laughs> eh, maybe. Oh well. You really did have a choice. You could have stopped altogether. Or kept going. He's lying there still, looking up. He's probably in heaven now or something. Oh well. Mission accomplished. So if he dies anyway, what was the point of having it be a quote-unquote bad ending if I stabbed him? Anyway, that's whatever. Ah, my ears! When you step outside, it's still a bit cold. You probably should have worn a little bit more. Sure, there are monsters running around, but what's the big deal? You're a bounty hunter. You smile a little. It's kind of funny how you eradicate the rest of your monsters on the walk back on the way a SWAT team comes into the area and thanks you they give you an airlift back to Tucson okay cool <laughs> a bit disjointed but sure it's kind of nice out there are kids running about around talking about their costumes and pumpkins lining houses absolutely nothing's changed it's Halloween today, I guess. And it actually is Halloween today. The episode is coming out on Halloween, so that's appropriate. That's pretty cute. Varric, you're probably just gonna drink and find some cute girl to spend the night with. Oh yeah, that's hot. Pretty boring existence, but it's fun. You've had a pretty rough day. Why don't you go take a rest? I'd call that a bit more than a rough day. You sleep and think a little. 
Urkel's trying to take credit for the fact that you killed the monster and get re-elected. Predictable. The people are smart enough in this town to vote for someone who isn't a fear-mongering crook. Well, okay. You don't really need sleep. You don't really sleep. You're having a little trouble. You sit on the edge of your bed, thinking. You laugh a little. You, that looks insane in my mind. Like, he's he slept and thought a bit, but then he didn't sleep. And then he sat at the edge of his bed, thinking. So really, you didn't sleep, you just thought. And now you're laughing in the dark at the edge of your bed. Okay. You just realized you sleep in chain mail. <laughs> okay, you're a pretty ridiculous person. Anyway, you think that it's pretty cool. What you mean to say is, well... Even though you don't have a wife or kids, people still like you. You have good self-esteem, and you're strong and pretty smart. Even though there's no real meaning to your life, you enjoy it. <laughs> What's up with all this moral crap? I don't know, you're the one writing it in. Let's just go to sleep now, really. Your eyes are normal. You have a working head. Nothing's on fire or made of concrete or something stupid. So why can't you go to... All of the sudden, a guast jumped into the room and pooted on you, and you screamed with free act. What did I just read? <laughs> oh no. Then you just kind of laughed because it was dumb. Toby, are you okay? I love you, man, but what the hell? You slept pretty well after that, and that's the end. Cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Credits, Radiation, a.k.a. Toby Fox, did everything. <laughs> I feel like he regrets taking all the credit for now. <laughs> now that he's a little grown up. The song is back, yay, Megalovania. I could just sit here listening to the song for hours. It's fine. I also didn't realize that it used to go by Radiation. That's pretty cool. Everything ever. Oh, little. If you say so, Toby. Maybe cool it on the ego. Also, I had a total and utter blast making this hack, and I hope you enjoyed it. That's really all I have to say. Have a really nice day. Oh, is that all? This is how it ends? All right, well, I'm gonna... Mm. All right, I had to pause that because it was getting a bit too loud on my ears as much as I love the song. I hope you all enjoyed Earthbound Halloween hack, and I hope you have a great Halloween, or you had a great Halloween, rather, I should say, because... This will be in the past by the time you watch this video. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>